<laughs> yeah, so I learned commercial fishing for giant bluefin tuna can be kind of stressful. In today's video, I'm going fishing with Cam, who's a commercial fisherman and also runs fishing charters, Cambo charters, out of Massachusetts. He's a really cool guy and he knows his stuff out there. Also in this video is Tackle to the People, who I'm sure you've seen before. He makes some killer fishing content and is another really cool dude. This day was pretty crazy, so I'm gonna voice over a couple parts explaining what happened, but for the most part, I'll let the fishing do the talking. So step one is to catch bait. I got another whiting. Oh, I got two. Oh, yeah, they are. That top one's a good bait. You guys need to squeeze them and pop them right over the Oh, nice. Is there something on? There you go, buddy. It's a shark. It's a little shark. Can't tell. I don't know my sharks too well. What do you do with these when you get on the boat? No. You want me to just leave them boat side? Pretty big shark, I guess. Dude, they don't. That thing came in in two seconds. Yeah, they don't fight. I don't like them. You're going no pliers? Oh, I'm not Here, I'm gonna pull them and it'll surf the tail up. Oh, fucker. Oh, dude. Oh, there we go, he's gone. <sighs> These things are strong, man. Yeah, we're on a good one. Here we go, baby! But when you're battling a fish that weighs over 300 pounds and is worth thousands of dollars, things can get chaotic quick, and Cam noticed a boat was getting way too close to us. Watch out! Throw this on your hand. I'm Dude, on. does this guy not get it? Mike, I'm gonna need to tap in. Tap in. Tap in, tap in, tap in. Go, go. Eventually, our line, which had a massive tune on it, got stuck in this guy's engine, so we had to chase him down to get the line out. What? Now the other boater didn't do this intentionally, I just don't think he realized we had a giant tuna barreling right towards him. But by some miracle, when we got our line off his engine, we were still tight with this tuna after being slack for god knows how long. Heads up, heads oh up, my god, up. we're still tight! Dude, I've never even had that happen with a striper, never mind a f***ing tuna. Here, Johnny. Johnny, here. Just cut it. Yeah. Okay. Once we were free, the guy apologized quick and there were no hard feelings between either party. That's tuna fishing, man. That's literally thousands of dollars at the end of your line. So tempers can rise when things go wrong. But hey, no harm, no foul. Holy shit. 
That was insane. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> so this is a tuna. <sighs> I'm sorry if I came off as a little bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get on it, get on it. Dude, this is tough. Mike, I'm already kind of tired, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Let me know when. All right, dude, this is hard. Yeah, you jump. You want to jump in for a bit? Get that glove from camp. Go. Gas and harpoon ready. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Good. Yep. All right, just be gentle. Okay. You can get a little line there. I can't really get much on them, Cam. Yeah, I might need to tap out. Oh, I got leader. Never mind, do not tap out. Keep reeling. You see him? Yeah, I see him. Holy sh! Holy sh! Holy! Woo! Fuck! Let's go, dude! Fuck yeah! Hold this. Yeah, dude! Holy! Oh my god, dude! Not in a good position right now. What do you need? I don't know what I need. Actually, let some line out of that. Nope. Ah, you biting me, this cocksucker. Mm. Yeah. Three. You're gonna lift on three, two, one. Lift. Yeah, good, good, good. Bend down a little. Bye. Did you take that gap out of his mouth? Yeah? Yep. That's insane. This is, I've never seen a fish like this. Dude. Dude, what did I tell you? There's really big albies. There's big albies. <laughs> There's really yeah. big albies. Fucking, yeah, dude. Albies definitely fight way harder. I dude, are, you, are you addicted? Oh yeah, dude, this is sick. I'm gonna walk him back. You ever get bummed out after you land a fish and you just mark a ton more fish after? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that definitely happened. Yeah. Like right now, I, I want that rush again. And yeah. I, I'm done. I, I don't get it again. Yeah. Alright, you guys ready? Yeah. Mike, we'll grab it. Actually, me and Johnny might get to do it. Alright, Johnny, I'm going to pull his head up and you're going to leap fall back. Okay, yeah. And then we're probably going to have to regain ourselves, hold them still. Yeah, and then. Griffin pulling the second time. Alright. Ready? Yep. I'm gonna pull on a wave. When you see me go, just go. Yep. Yeah, this might not work. <clears throat> oh, 
Three, two, one. You got him. You got him. Hold him. I got him. All right. <laughs> Dude, what the? So this fish measured in at 91 inches and I think 348 pounds at market after all the guts were taken out of it. Cam has caught tuna a lot bigger than this, but me personally, this was a freaking gigantic fish. I've never gone fishing for bluefin before. Totally totally crazy fishery way different than anything i've ever done these fish are unbelievably strong it absolutely kicked my ass but this was a really really awesome experience if you guys want to see how a commercial tuna is processed and brought to market and more cool clips i filmed with my phone follow me on my instagram and on my tiktok believe it or not i do have a tiktok page uh the link is in the description of this video you can find both those pages you'll see a lot more footage that's honestly pretty cool that didn't make into this video but yeah thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed